Hey there, fellas. You know what? It's been a while since we've done a car audio experiment. I saw this crazy idea in our suggestion box, which involves making a subwoofer. You might have seen us try various types of subwoofers, but this is definitely going to be a first for us. So here we've got everything we need to make us a fantastic subwoofer. Naturally, we've got an amplifier right here. Hopefully 500 watts is going to be enough for us. Then there's the speaker itself. Here it is. It's an Alphard Hannibal series unit. But the most interesting thing has to be the enclosure. So as requested by our viewers, we went out and bought us this nifty subwoofer box. It already has a port built right in, so there's that. This should genuinely turn out to be pretty good. I can do the sound effects. Anyway, so that covers the enclosure side of things. And right here we've got a neat speaker. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to make a podium in order to get it mounted. The guys tell me that this was the biggest one that they could find in the store. I'm of course referring not to the subwoofer, but rather to the enclosure for it. This was the largest one they had. Alright, let's make a subwoofer that actually... I'm hoping this is going to be a surprise for everybody. Let's do this. Using a toilet as a subwoofer box. Never thought I would say that. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Hi, <laughs> right, fellas, check out what we've got here. This is such a hilarious look. The passenger seat is missing for all intents and purposes, but instead, you've got that can with a subwoofer. We have installed it, it's all looking good. Now we just need to check and see how it works. As you might recall, the entire car is made from plastic. We are liking a window over here, but no worries, we can live without it, climbing inside. Shutting the door, switching on the power, and it's working. That's nice. Now we just press play and see exactly what we've achieved. Can you hear how the lid on the tank is rattling? Let's bring that down a bit more. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, that's much better. How about even lower? How's the articulation? Oh, 
You get plenty of wind from out of here. I take it that's a supplementary wind dish or something. The port is doing its thing. Okay, great, it just had to fall, didn't it? Let me just bring it down a bit more. Now that should make things even more interesting. Now what if we try 26? Stop rattling! That was 26 hertz. Let's try 24 and see what sort of result that gives us. Now that seems more or less like what you'd call flex. I take it we'd be better off actually starting the car. Looks like the battery isn't keeping up. Oh great, of course you just had to. That's it. And it works! This is where shit gets interesting. Very, very interesting. The alternator is working, so is everything else. Let's do this. This lid will drive anyone crazy. Let's try that one more time. I can't, I need to take this off. I am just so tired of that freaking rattling. Look at all of that articulation, holy cow. I've turned things up a notch. There we go. It's not a huge speaker, but it packs a punch in that improvised enclosure. There is wind coming from everywhere. If we were to put that lid back on, you've got the hole where the button used to be. You get a ton of wind through there, plus the lid wobbles, which is why I removed it. Want to see some wind? Will we get some here? No, we will not. But here we got some. <laughs> and we flushed that piece of paper. What about down here? Yeah, plenty of wind over here. Come on, port, do your thing. Here's what's up, fellas. We weren't able to make a proper subwoofer using that can and that speaker. You're not taking this to a DB drag event, and all because... Well, you see... It's too small. Too small of a can. There's just not enough volume. It doesn't generate a ton of wind. And that's why... Now, if we were to use a quality box, specifically tailored to this kind of speaker, I'm guessing it'd be enough to tear off all of these plastic body panels. But that definitely doesn't apply to this can. Anyway, our viewers suggested we do such an install, and we made it happen. You saw the results. This was quite hilarious. But all in all, I'd say... 
It doesn't work too great. It simply lacks the volume necessary for this to work. And that's all I have for you fellows. Keep those suggestions coming, comment, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe. Alright, catch you later.